Hi, so I wanted to do a makeup collection video. Um, you can surely hear the washing machine in the background. Um, so apologies for that. And also this isn't going to be a good video in general. So, um, yeah, uh, sorry, I guess. But I'm really just doing this for myself. So I kind of don't care. Um, so, makeup bag. I have eyeshadow base primer. For my eyeshadow it's like good I mean it's I don't know it's not perfect at all um, but like it works it's just like you know it does what it's supposed to not super well but like it does do it um, and I like it I like the format that it comes in and it's not like super expensive um so i like it and i'll unless there's like something new next time i need one i'll probably buy this again because like yeah it, works. it like has a scent it's just like a very i don't know it's a very like a makeup scent type scent it's not like fruit or i mean it's kind of floral i guess like, I guess floral, kind of sweet, is the best way to describe it. But, like, it's not, like, any sort of specific flowers that I know of. It's kind of just, like, a vague, general, um, makeup scent type scent. Um, also, sorry if you heard a notification, but also, again, don't really care. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this is, like... I'm also doing this one-handed, which, as the more time goes on, the more I'm realizing is bad. So I think, um, maybe I need to figure out a solution for that. Then, um, all right, and I mean you can see it's from Art. I got this. I bought myself like, um, I don't know, earlier this year probably, maybe last year. I think probably this year. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this year. This is like from the body shop, just like a pencil, like a liner, pencil, sharpener. Um, this I'm sure came like in an advent calendar. So I had, yeah, I had the body shop advent calendars for like two years, I think, and a next advent calendar. Like you can see a lot of things from um, another year. So, that's like, the majority of what my makeup collection is, is, well, mostly the next advent calendar. Um, because, yeah, like, for context, I, like, did not use makeup with any sort of regularity for years. Um, I simply just used it, like, I don't know, for events or when I really felt the need to, um, I don't know, just do something creative. So, my dog's here. Um, so yeah, there's just like, there's just like a lot of makeup that's, I mean, all of my makeup, well, not all of my makeup, the vast majority of my makeup is many years old um and a lot of that is because of the, the advent calendars but also because i simply did not use my stuff that much and like within the last like one and a half years that i have been using my makeup regularly i have used up a lot i i'm kind of wish i had like done one of these before and like when i started using makeup regularly but I'm doing one now so that I don't have to wish that again later. So that I will actually have a record of like what I had and when. Um, so mascara, that Essence Lash Princess, the full false lash effect one. It's good. It kind of irritates my eyes. It kind of does, but like, it's so like. I know, it's really cheap, 
and it really works it really like does a lot for my lashes and makes them i mean it um it lengthens it voluminizes kind of does what a mascara is supposed to i mean i like i like a dramatic stuff right i don't i don't really do subtle I do kind of subtle, but like, not often, and certainly not in a way that I would want a subtle mascara. So, yeah, this is good. Kind of irritates my eyes, but like, not in a way that I can't wear it. So I cope. Uh, then my brushes. I'll do my real techniques brushes in one go. This thing I never use. I have like three eyeshadow brushes. Um, I mean, yeah, this 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 claims to be a shading brush. I don't even know what that means. I mean, when I first got it, it used to be like really rough. But I mean, I think since I I mean I have used it sometimes and I have like washed it like once. Um, and again, I I washed it once because I used it like a handful of times. Right, I haven't just like had it for years. I wash it once and regularly use it. Um, I'm really good at regularly washing the brushes that I actually use because, I mean, especially my eyeshadow brushes, if I don't, I will get styes, and I don't want that. Um, so yeah, I now that I do my makeup regularly, I wash my brushes regularly. But this, I mean, I could use it, it's just, I never feel the need to. Like, I just, it's, it's kind of like a blending brush, but it's like, kind of like, dense and I just I just don't feel the need to use it really um, then I have this setting brush and it's like I don't use setting powder I just use this to like wipe off fallout that's like the only thing I really do with it but, like it works for that and that is a thing that I do use it for regularly so this one's good i like this one this is like i mean it says complete covers right so this is like a complexion brush for like foundation concealer i guess i don't use those things um i can use this for like cream blush or like liquid blush that's like the only things that i can use this for that i have um, I mean, here I could also use it for, like, cream highlighter, but I don't have that, so I don't. Um, and this is my other, this is from the body shop, that's also just, like, a foundation brush. Uh, and this I also use for cream blush, uh, liquid blush, because, again, just, like, I don't, I don't use anything else as a liquid, um, other than on my lips, but, like, I wouldn't use this for that so it's like um yeah that's the only thing i can use it for and that's what i use it for um okay so these are my the body shop eyeshadow brushes they're like fine i think they're fine um there's nothing particularly wrong with them i don't particularly like them either though they're really old i might like replace this one soon because like the fraying sort of splaying out does make it like a lot less precise and I do want some precision so like I do want to get a new one but also this one still works fine you know I don't actually need a new one and I don't really like buying things and like spending money um I find it scary so I try to avoid it but like I am excited for this one to like actually die so that I can actually um, relax and get a new one. Uh, same with this one kind of, but like to a lesser extent. I mean, mostly I was just like, like a smaller blending brush, which now that I've been talking about this, I could try to use this as a smaller blending brush. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just so like dense comparatively. Like, um, I don't know how to show you. I guess I'll show you on my leg. Um, like, it's just like it's so stiff, right? And when you compare with this, it's just it's just a lot softer. 
So like I don't I I don't know that I want to use like a stiff blending brush, right? Like I just I think maybe I should try, but uh, like yeah, this one also kind of splaying out and it's just it's just kind of huge. Like it I mean I think you just have its huge cases, but like I would prefer a smaller one and I don't want more eyeshadow brushes. So like I won't get a smaller one. I won't get a smaller one and a bigger one. I don't interested in that. It's I don't know, I don't need brushes that much. I like I I just don't need that many different brushes. It's just I don't want to have that many and I don't need that many. So I'm not gonna have that many, you know? Like these are fine. I use them like every time I do my eyeshadow or like at least at least a big blending brush. Some formulas I the packing brush doesn't really do anything. Uh this is from Art Deco again. I like Art Deco. They make now that I've like actually, you know, some Sometimes I need to like actually buy um, new stuff. I've been a lot of that I've been buying at buying from or looking at from Art Deco because they just they just have a lot of things that like match my needs and desires. Um, so I like them. This is a blush brush. It's unwashed currently. I just used it yesterday. Um, I should wash my brushes today because I haven't since last week. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Um, on the um, online, on like the website of the store that I bought it from, it claimed to be like natural like goat hair, but on the package it said it was nylon, so. That was kind of a what the fuck moment, but like it's good, it works, it's fine, you know. Like I would prefer to be natural hair, and honestly, I'm not. St I'm still not like fully confident that it isn't, but like it probably isn't. But like some of their other like brushes from this line that like look the same are natural hair. Like it says on the package, the natural hair as well as on the website. Uh, but they are smaller, so maybe they just made this one out of synthetic because to, just to, to keep the cost down, which like, you know, fine. I mean, I very explicitly did not want to buy an expensive brush, so like that's very much on me. Though I don't think this shit really needs to be uh, fucking expensive. I think um, a lot of them, a lot of makeup brushes are really fucking overpriced for no good reason. Anyway, this one also... Um, like, it's really nice and soft. It's, like, it's nice. I would like to have an arm to use here, but um, I could not really figure out a good way to do that. So, I don't. Um, I would like to put this, like, cover thing back on. One-handed is difficult. If you have any people in your life with one hand, I mean, I'm sure they're better at it than I am, but, um, you know, help them out or whatever. This is very rough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, yeah, this is a good one. I really like this one. This is definitely my favorite brush that I own. Well, because, like, I bought it myself, like, again, like, this year, or probably this year, um, pretty sure it was this year, and all of these other ones, like, the Daniel Techniques set I got, like, from, like, my aunt that, like, not, like, even as a, I don't think, I mean, no, I don't think it was, like, as a gift, I think it was just, like, something she got and didn't want, I don't really remember, but something like that. And these all, I'm pretty sure I got these all from Advent Calendar again. But like, I don't know, I was like 12. Um, I mean, this one, the foundation brush, definitely from Advent Calendar. Uh, the eyeshadow brushes I might have bought, or I might have gotten my mom to buy me or something. Um, but, yeah, these, these definitely like, I also would not 
they, they would not be my choice now. Um, yeah, I think I said that was the sharpen I was from the Iron Claw. Yeah. Mascara obviously is pretty new. You can't, but, but you are not enough mascara pretty quick, especially if you just have one that you always use. So yeah, that's like from this year, obviously. Um, this is from like this. I so I had this like um KVD black lipstick. Or maybe it was from when it was still Cat I don't know, man. Again, I got it when I was, like, 13. I don't fucking remember. I don't think it's sad on the, on the lipstick itself. And I didn't care to look it up. Um, but, like, yeah, I got it when I was, like, 13. Maybe 14. Um, so. I, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I got this from from that lipstick like i i used that lipstick i mean i didn't use it completely up because um the package broke i mean this came out of like the the like lid part um and a similar thing actually happened with this lip gloss that i have but it has like a more substantial um in internal cap so i could still like keep using this like with this like the lid, it first cracked, and then this came out of it. Like, when I just cracked, I just taped it up, and I was like, okay, I'm still going to use it. But, like, after this came out, I, like, I, I did actually even try to glue it back in, but, like, it didn't work, and I was like, whatever. It's, like, almost empty anyway. Um, but I kept this so that, like, um, when I, like, run low on, like, yeah, like, a liquid lipstick or uh, a lip gloss in a smaller, smaller container, I can, like, go in there with this and use this to, like, get everything out. Oh, this is also from the body shop. I think it's probably also from the Adam Cullen Dragon. I, no, this, yeah, that, this definitely I would not have bought myself. This is definitely from the Adam Cullen It's like a eyebrow brush thing. I never use it. Um, I don't really do anything at all with my eyebrows. Like, truly nothing. So this is kind of useless to me, but, like, I keep it in case I want it for something. Um, I don't know. If I knew someone that wanted it, I would probably um, give it to them because, like, I truly, I don't use it. This is from an eye eyebrow powder because I did used to do my eyebrows and, um, and I used to use this to, like, um, draw a mustache on, um, pretty, so, like, yeah, it came with this eyebrow powder, and this eyebrow powder compact, and, wow, it's dusty, um, and, I mean, it worked great for that, and, like, it's, like, tiny, right, like, the handle is non-existent, um, but, like, it works, and, um, oh, Jesus, <laughs> doesn't work for focusing a camera on, but, like, you know, it works for what it's meant for, and even though I don't, like, really do that anymore, I still, like, again, I keep it because I don't really have a reason to throw it away. And I might want to do something like this again someday. Um, this. Um, NYX liquid liner. I don't buy from NYX anymore because they're a L'Oreal subsidiary. And uh, L'Oreal supports Israel in, like, a very direct way for a makeup company to do. Um, but yeah, I own... I don't want to be a part of that, so, um, I don't buy from them. I mean, it is, like, a legitimate boycott. There are other people doing it, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much of a real effect it has, especially since I, like, don't buy makeup that much anyway. But, uh, I simply do not want to be involved, so I don't. 
Um, this again I've had for years. This one I did buy separately myself because I didn't really have any yellow makeup. And this is yellow. I mean, it's really much more of a bright yellow than it looks like there. Um, so yeah, this one I like bought myself a few years back. And this one I'm like starting to use up. It's like... And that means also like drying up quite a lot. Um, but like... Yeah, I mean, I guess it is kind of like the yellow that it shows on the package. I don't know, maybe just on my skin it looks a lot brighter than, than just compared to this black somehow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't like it. I think it's actually really bad. It dry When it dries on your skin, it like cracks. It's really quite ugly. Um, but like, it... I can use it to get yellow liner on my looks, and that's something that I want. So, I'm gonna use it until it's gone. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy it again, but, like, I wouldn't, even if I wasn't categorically not buying from next, but, um... I don't know why I said but. I don't think that's what I meant to say. Anyway, yeah. Um... That one's bad. This is from some sort of a random company that um, I don't even know. Miss Mistlen. I don't even know if like they sell things here anymore. I haven't like seen them around. Uh, and I certainly haven't like heard about them in like um, Anglo videos. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they like exist anymore, and if they do, then where. But um, this one also like not a great, not a great eye pencil, or I think it's a lip pencil. I use it for both because I don't care. Uh, I don't. I have not had any issues with that. Like, I mean, yeah, I haven't gotten styles since I started washing my eyeshadow brushes every week. Um, so yeah, don't have a issue with using it for both my lips and my eyes. Um. This, this is like fine, it works, but it's not great. It's not great, I wouldn't buy it again. I don't know that I could, but if I could, I wouldn't. Um, this is just not great. It's just kind of bad. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as this one. And it works. But it's just not great. It's just kind of like, when you... When you need to like... Like, it, like in the... Like, for tight lining, it, like, kind of doesn't work very well at all. The, like, I don't know, it doesn't interact well with water. I mean, yeah, with your lips, if you have, like, lip balm on, which I often do, um, it, like, just kind of slides around on top of it, for, largely. So, I don't, I don't love that. Um... But, like, it works decently well, so I use it. These are even worse. Or these these by um and these are B U. I think B E Y U. Uh I remember them for some reason. B now I look at it. I don't know this company. I that might be see around still. These suck. These like really suck. Um they're like They're just kind of shitty, man. I don't know what else to say. Like, I mean, they don't... These... If there's any moisture, any water, they will not go on top of it. Like, if you try to light in your eyes with them, and you try to go in the corner of your eye, and there's, like, half a teardrop, they will simply not work. Uh, same with, like, any lip balm, it's, they're awful, but as you can see, I've used them most of the way up, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm really very capable of working with things that I don't like that much, um, because I do like the colors, right, so I still use them, because I want the colors, uh, and I'll get different ones, once I've used these up, but, 
Um, I have these now and I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna swatch you some things on my ankle because I don't have an arm. Um, so, this one. It's brown. It's a nice brown. I really like this brown. It's kind of, it's like a, this like, bit of purplishness to it. Kind of a lot of purplishness to it, really. Um, and like, I feel like you can see it's kind of just like, like on my very dry ankle, it kind of works fine, but it's still like, I don't know, it doesn't like, it, it, it's, it didn't go on very like soft and smooth, it's just kind of like, it's kind of just like meh, and you have to press kind of hard, and like, you don't want to do that on your fucking eyelids, so yeah, non ideal, don't love it. This one, again, color, I love the color. And if I press really hard and do it in a completely dry spot, it works fine. But like that's just like not realistically what happens when I put it on my face. Um, yeah, I don't know how I would have really avoided buying these. I mean, I could, I could, if I really paid attention, which I would these days. But like on just like a swatch that's not on my face, they look fine, right? Like just based on swatches. And they're fine, it's just on your actual face, not so much. This one, a little easier to use. Um, it's like, unsharpened, kind of. So, you know, the line's not gonna be super nice. Um, but like, I feel like you can tell that that one, like, went on a lot easier and smoother. Um, and like, yeah, that one... That one is like better than the other ones, but you know, still not great. And then this yellow one, um, I mean, I, like you can see it, it just like goes on like in kind of like a really thick layer. Um, when you have like a good amount of product on, and then it very quickly just like becomes non existent. It's really quite frustrating, so often I end up just like making it less of a liner and more of a like I don't know I kind of smudge it, but like it's not something that's very keen to be smudged. So it's just it's just not great. Um, my ankle is not particularly like creasy, so it won't dry as ugly as it does like um on the eyes where you have like more folds. Um, but I'm sure it'll dry badly. Um, this eyeshadow primer, it's like, it's shiny, it's like sparkly is one thing, which is like, kind of, um, uh, maybe unfortunate. Uh, I don't mind though, but like, it wouldn't work for a lot of people because of that reason. Uh, it has some of the yellow that was on my finger from swatching that has definitely gone into that swatch. Um, um, and yeah, my hair is getting in the way, but yeah, you can see it's like sparkly, but like it blends into the skin well. I don't know what it would do if you have like a darker skin tone, but like it's pretty sheer. And like, if you're gonna put eyeshadow on top of it, it's probably not much of an issue if it looks a bit lighter than like the rest of your skin. Um, can't know for sure though, anyway, yeah. So that's all the things from my makeup bag. Uh, and then I have this box. Um, wait, I, I'm gonna, I wanna show you this like dried. Like, yeah, even on my leg, which is like pretty smooth. This has, it has, like, dried cracked. And, like, it is quite old, but that's fine. I don't know if it did this, like, when I first got it. But, I, just, I can tell you for sure that it ages really fucking badly. It's, it's bad. It's ugly. Uh, anyway, lip products. This one I bought recently. Well, I got my boyfriend to buy me. Um, I mean, it's, it's not my money. He just went to the store. Um... 
I don't think it was Super Mario. I mean, there's not much of a difference. Um, anyway, yeah, it's Adora glossy lip treat. Uh, it's just a clear gloss. It's good. It's not like phenomenal. It's not like amazing. It was like seventeen euro or something, which is like more than I would prefer to pay for it. Um, like not too insanely much, you know. It's just it's like what you would think it is. It's nothing different than what you would expect. It's a good lip gloss. It doesn't do anything special. Um, it does have this like does have this like um. Why is it impossible to untwist all of a sudden? Jesus, okay, I'm gonna put my phone down because this is like really on there. Um, sorry about that. So, that's like, it's dirty because I use it as a topper. I don't use it on its own, I only use it on top of other things, so that's dirty. Um, you couldn't, my camera wasn't focusing, but, um, my camera still isn't focusing. Jesus Christ. And why? Uh, but yeah, can see it has like four holes, which is interesting. I mean, it's not, I mean, the applicator is like silicone, it's not like, uh, it's not like, um, It's not like, what's it called? Can't think of the word. It's like soft plastic, you know, it's not like hard plastic. Um, I'm gonna just wipe off what I pressed out on my leg. It looks pink because I used it on top of pink last. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see it's, you know, it's shiny, it's glossy. Um, it's pretty, it's nothing special. Um, I have to try to close this again. Like, yeah, I enjoy this. This one is good. Um, I would buy it again. I mean, ideally, I would not have, like, liquid lipsticks or, like, lip pencils that I need to, that I need to put, um, gloss on top of. But, like, if I did, or if I, um, if I wanted another color from them that I can't, find in a cheaper cheaper formula than like or from a cheaper brand then like I would buy this again you know it's good I don't have any like problems with that um it's nice you know it's not like amazing it's kind of just like a decent lip gloss but it's good I like it and then I have this NYX lingerie um liquid lipstick and the color slip again from the advent calendar it's like purple it's just purple um it's fine it works i not really my favorite color to wear yeah okay this has got a little bit of lip gloss in it so it's gonna look I'm not doing this very carefully at all. Um, I mean, I don't have to share it out on my lips, but you can see it shared out if you want. Um, you know, it's fine. Nothing against it. It's just I don't. I just. I don't love the color, and I don't love a little color lipstick. And I also had. I. I also had like a lot of other purples. Currently, I just have this and the purple lip gloss. Um, and I like the purple lip gloss better still, uh, but I'm running out of it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using it for my purple needs after I run out of this purple gloss. Um, like, yeah, the purple gloss is a lot more purple, right? Like, it makes the other one look, like, pretty much pink. Um... This this gloss is like very I prefer a more sheer gloss. Like I'm not gonna like sheer out a gloss on my lips. I, I don't like to sheer out anything on my lips because I want my lips moisturized. 
and the more I shared out, the less moisture there is. Um, but like I, I, I would prefer the gloss to just like be more sheer to begin with, right? Um, but like, and I would prefer a more cool tone still than it is. But like, it's good. I don't have anything particularly against it. It's just not my favorite, and like obviously. I'm not gonna buy that again, either. Uh, but yeah, also from that I'm a color. I mean, all of the, all of the minis from Nyx are from the Adam and Calendar. Then I have this, um, Bell red lipstick. It's it's interesting in the sense that, Jesus Christ, why isn't it twisting? Um, I look at my dog, while I attempt to twist this up. All right, it's interesting in the sense that like, it looks well maybe it doesn't on camera, but in real life it looks like very much like an orange red, in the in the tube. But then when you like, when you like, put it on, like when when it's in a thick layer, it looks more orange, but whenever you like, hear it out. Or like if you, if you like, I don't know, eat something and it gets like, or like if you drink some water and it gets like on your, on your cup or whatever, it looks a lot more pinker, which like I really understand. I don't know how that works. Um, I don't get it, but it's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, it's not something that I, like, care to have or to exist, but I do find it interesting. Then I have this NYX Butter Gloss. Um, this one is a lot more sheer than that other one, interestingly enough. I don't know why they make different colors, different amounts of sheerness, but they do. Uh, and this one, this one I also like the color of a lot more. This one is kind of like a perfect, perfect color for me. And the color, truly like zero problems with. The color is awesome. I love this color. I haven't been using it a lot because I've been mostly, um, when I'm at my boyfriend's, I just take the stuff that like I want to use up the most. So I don't take my favorite things. So. I haven't been using any of my favorite things, um, but I do quite want to use this a lot more. Um, then I have this NYX suede matte lipstick in a green. Um, it's nice. I mean, it's a bit more blue green than what I would want. But I love having a green lipstick. I love wearing it. I, I like, I just, I'm not the kind of person that worries about it being wearable or socially acceptable or whatever. I just wear the color that I feel like wearing. If it's a color I can wear on my clothes, it's a color I can wear on my face. I don't care. Um... But yeah, this one I like. It's too blue green to be ideal, but I do like it. Then I have this um, mini NYX matte lipstick in a blue. It's way too light. I don't like wearing lipsticks that are like lighter than my lip color, and this very much is. Um, and I don't like that. But I wear it anyway because I don't have any other blues. And I'm not going to buy any other blues until I'm done with this. So that's just what I'm stuck with. Um, I mean, it's nice, you know. And it's not really all that matte. I mean, there's the other one. Um, they're not. I mean, they're not fully cream lipsticks either. But they're not really all that matte. Um, I prefer it that way, but, um, I do, 
um, take a bit of an issue with calling them mad. I mean, once they dry down, boy, they are more mad. But they, they take a long time to dry down. And usually by that point that they're like fully modified, I will already have reapplied them. So, you know, it's just kind of, kind of not really much of a thing for me. Um, yeah, that's all my lab products. Then I have, um, well, this one's a lip and cheek tint from the body shop. But the other three are going to be just like lip products that I'm using as blush because either because of the formula or because of the color. I mean, mm, I think it has to be both. Um, because of both the formula and the color, I don't like them on my lips. And I can't write them on my lips, so I'm just using them as blush. This one is a tint. And, like, it looks... Like, the actual liquid, it looks, like, very peach, right? But, like, as you can see from the, like, applicator, um, the... When it, like, stains, it stains a lot more reddish pink. Well, that's orange. Um, it's not very conducive to blending out with your finger. Um, I always use a brush for this. Like, yeah, it just kind of... When I had to blend it out with my finger, it just kind of, like, blends into nothing. And it's, it's pilling a lot, which, um, I don't actually know if that's a finger problem, or maybe it has, um, expired in a way that it's unusable. Because the peeling definitely did not used to happen, but, like, I don't know, maybe there's a using with my finger problem. But, like, you can see on my pink, on my finger that it's, that it's, like, stained kind of red, whilst on my leg, it's kind of stayed peach and or disappeared which like immensely strange right like that's that's kind of fucking wild i mean it'll probably turn a bit more pink than this as time goes on but like i find it very strange um then i have this actual actual peach one um this is supposed to be a lip oil it's incredibly drying there's nothing oil about this um, I don't understand how they get away with calling this a lip oil. Um, so I don't use it for my lips because of how drying it is. But like, um, like that as a blush, it works fine. Um, then I have a pink version of that same, same matte lipstick. Um... It's just a very bright pink. Um, this one... This one is mostly related to being a blush because of the color. I feel like with the, with the lightness and brightness of the color, it doesn't work on the lips either. It's just like, it's not that good a formula and it just brings out details on the lips that... Or it's just like... I don't know. I don't know why this one works better on the lips than this one. Though I don't really love this one on the lips either. I feel like it does, like... But like, I don't know, this one, it kind of, like, when it, like, wears off, it kind of looks like a purplish tint, which is cute. And this one, like, doesn't do anything like that. So, and when it wears off, it just kind of wears off ugly, and it wears off really quickly. More quickly than this, I feel like. And I, I don't know why. But, like, the, this one is not... The formula is not... I mean, this one I also don't use on my lips because of how drying it is. And this one is not nearly as bad as either of these two. It's just, it's just, it's for the most part, it's the color. Though I don't love the formula on my lips either by any means. Um, yeah, the, this still like it has not gotten any pinker, which I don't understand. I don't like. I mean, I've touched on her pink with my finger since, but like, it's um, it's like. My finger was stained pink before already, right? It's still 
same thing and this is not and i don't understand that how that works and that's crazy i i just simply do not get it um but that's how it is apparently um and yeah i'm gonna have to like try that on my face with a brush because like this one the lip and cheek turn from the polish because i think it might be actually so expired that i can't use it anymore uh, based on what we've seen here today um this is another one from nexus another liquid lipstick um this one i mean yeah again it's both a color and formula it's way too light for me to like it on my lips um it's a soft matte metallic lip cream um not very cream at all very drying in my opinion um and yeah it's just it's very patchy it's very patchy on the lips this one i think this one i think problem is also as patchy um I mean, this is, like, immensely sparkly to be a blush. Like, I like an immensely sparkly blush sometimes. I could also use this, like, a blush topping highlighter just fine. Um, but mostly I just use that blush. Because I'm okay with my blush being fucking crazy sparkly. Um, so, alright. That's those. Um, then I have actual blushes. Also, next one is that advent calendar. Um, this one's... I mean, you can see the color. Um, it's really, like, nice and, like, smooth. It, I feel like... I still feel like it kind of, like, goes on patchy on my face. Um, but that might just be, like, you know, my skin type. Um, not going well with the formula. Not necessarily, like... It being a bad formula because like it is like it is like um it is like it is quite nice it's just i don't know it's it's it, i mean it's it's a powder right and it's like it's not one of those powders that like doesn't feel so drying it is very much like a like, I know, it, it does feel, like, creamy to the touch. I think that's just because of how finely milled it is. I do think it has, like, drying properties that, like, do not work on my face. Um, and then I have this random blush. This is, again, one of my oldest things I got, like, when I was, like, nine. Um, like, that hair lipstick. Um, which, um, a lot of people have problems with, and I get it. But, like, it works for me. I don't want to throw it away, so I'm not gonna. And so, I don't love this blush either. Like, the color, not the best um, at all. Um, but, like, I kind of can't see it. Um, but, like, it works, so I'm gonna use it. You know, I don't, like, it works. And if it works, and I can use it, I'm gonna use it. This one's like very subtle compared to like all my other blushes. And that one you practically can't see, but like, I don't know, when it works properly, or when it works properly, you could see it. Uh, I don't know if it's expired or if it's just the method of application or what. Um, but like, yeah, this one's very subtle. Like it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very light color. Um, so, very subtle on me, which is fine. I don't mind that. I can do subtle blush sometimes. Um, and it's, it's not my preferred color at all whatsoever. I prefer a much, much cooler down blush. But it works, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, then, I also, uh, also in my makeup box, I have some of these three face paints. Like a white powder that you're supposed to mix with water. Just this, like, black and that green. Um... They're all also probably expired. Well, maybe the powder doesn't matter. Uh, but, like, I don't know. I haven't used them. I haven't tried to use them. Um, I'm not going to try to use them now. They're just here in case I want them. And in case they do still work. Uh, then, I have two highlighters from NYX again. This is the purple. I'm going to do this one first. Um, this one's, like, a peach with, like, a goldy, greeny shimmer. These all, like, they feel very nice to the thigh. This one kind of has hard pan, but, like, I don't know, not too bad. Um, um, 
the camera will not focus. Um, it's like shiny. I can't capture the shine very well on camera, but it is shiny and it's like nice and shiny. Um, I feel like I need to put a lot more on for it to be at all visible. It has it has like a lot of different colors of sparkles in it. It's kind of it has purple to it. It has like green gold to it. Right now, you can mostly see that purple, which is interesting, because usually I do not notice any purple at all. Um, and then on camera, it kind of reads more as, like, golden. The base is very much, like, peachy pink, and then the sparkles are, like, all the different colors. It's fine, it's nice, it's not nearly as sparkly as I want it to be. And it's... I don't know, it's kind of like the base, base pigment is kind of just also like more than I would like. But like it works and I use it. Uh, this one's a purple. I like this one more, but I, I've, I've used it less, I think, largely because like that one just goes with more, the, the other one just goes with more of what I already have. And um, I think other things that I already have and need to use up. Um, so yeah, this is the purple one. It's a lot shinier. It's like cooler toned, like lighter. It's more of a just like a straight purple. Not really anything crazy going on. I like that one a lot more. Um, and I look forward to, like, when I don't have the other one, I kind of, like, use this one more. Okay, then I have just, well, not just my eyeshadows left. I also have my setting spray, makeup fixer, from Ofra. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I also know that I haven't heard about them from any Anglos, so I'm going to assume that they're, like, more of a European brand. I don't know where they're from. This works. It works fine. It's not, like, phenomenal. It doesn't, like completely set your makeup forever and ever until you wash it off it it, it does kind of a half-ass job but like it does that half-ass job very reliably and like that's fine for me i don't need my makeup bulletproof i just need my makeup to like not disappear off my face and this does make my makeup not disappear off my face uh and it's like the cheapest option kind of um at least it's the cheapest option that i'm okay with so yeah i like this one i use this one unless there's something new the next time i need one i'm probably gonna rebuy it and then yeah just eyeshadows left oh god my leg has died it feels awful um my other one the one that's not here right now this one's fine um so i'm gonna do eyeshadows uh this also man had the same thing that the blush is from the same time that the blush is from um and i used to have the other ones that i've had it had like a gold as actually i think this one was the silver and this one was the gold and this one was the pink it's just the, the, the way that the or maybe this one was the sh no i think this one was the silver and this one was the pink this one was the gold um it doesn't look like that's what it was but i'm pretty sure that's what it was this one was the gold i know that much for sure uh, and I'm pretty sure I only have a little bit left somewhere, a lot of pink. Um, but currently, I only have this blue left. It's dark blue. Um, it's just a dark blue. I don't know, it's not a great formula. It's not a, a great eyeshadow. Uh, and I don't have a lot of it left. And I'm gonna use it all up. And, like, it's fine. You know, it looks a lot less vibrant on the skin than it does in the pan. I mean, that's probably just... Like, I don't know, my skin tone canceling it out or something. But, like, I mean, I'm sh it's also a fault of the formula. Um, but, like, yeah, it's fine. I use it. I don't love it. Um, I'm gonna put my highlighters back. Um, then I'm gonna do this one next because this one is very much, like, 
in the same sort of in the same sort of category as the other one is it's like barely a different color and it's just especially on the skin and like interesting enough it like looks kind of brighter on the skin even though in the pan it looks a lot more dull uh other one doesn't the pan this one is better at like staying blue and make and like it's, it even appears kind of more blue on the skin than it does in the pan which is interesting i don't know why these are like so different in that way but like this one is darker so i use it kind of a lot more um there's like i don't know like this like medium blue i don't like, i mean the pan looks very dark but on the skin's kind of medium blue and i don't really know what to do with that and i put kind of gray and i would like a gray blue i would prefer to be darker but like really i don't particularly want any of them uh i've used all the other eyeshadows in here though which is like kind of awesome um the packaging has broken and this is also like as all this like the other really old things um but like you know i've used almost all of it up so that's cool it's all very filthy but like that doesn't matter that's not the part that goes in my eyes um all right then then i have all my mixed eyeshadows they're magnetic um and they're kind of stuck to this box that i keep them in but not too bad like um sure enough, this one too um so uh, i'm gonna start from this one i'm gonna like put them in a in a row um Yeah, they're they're magnetic, but like in a weird way. I think it's I mean they're mostly just magnetic like, in the sense that like the they like close magnetically. Um, so like the closure part is, you know, magnetic. But like the other way around, it's fine. Like I don't, I don't think this part is like magnetic to anything. I think it's just the part where it closes. Um. Anyway, this one is a highlighter. I got it in the advent calendar, and it had. Well, the advent calendar is an advent calendar, right? You cannot, like, it's not for any specific skin tone. So I got this highlighter that, like, I absolutely cannot use as a highlighter in any way because it is literally brown. Um, and well, you can see I'm not. And this is, like, significantly darker than my skin. Um, so I use this as an eyeshadow. It's like, it's like a nice, like, bronzy 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 eyeshadow i don't really use it particularly much it's a sort of bronzy coppery thing like i and it's not a color particularly rare but i do like it nothing against it you know it's nice just like not particularly what i what goes with like most of my outfits and stuff um, but like I will use that up one day. Um, and then I have this actual brown eyeshadow that's really quite similar. It's really quite very similar. That I can't get it to be open. Um, I mean these all feel very nice and smooth. Of like, um, like they work quite well. I mean, this is kind of almost the same as the as the highlighter. It's more sparkly, and it's like kind of like brighter, and it's less like. I mean, on camera, it kind of looks more orange, but I mean, I think you can see that this one has like greener sparkles, and this is like pinker sparkles. So it's just like this comes across as more rosy. Um. But like they're really quite similar. And since like both of them are eyeshadows to me, I don't really have any reason to have both, especially since this is not a color that I wear particularly much. But like I have them and I'll use them up. And I mean advent calendars in general is not a thing that I would like make a better kind of calendar this in general is not a thing that I would buy now. It is not at all something that I'm interested in. 
buying now because like I know what I want and what I don't want and uh, I don't want to just get like random things and it's not something that I'm inclined to do because I will just end up with a lot of things that I don't want particularly um, and you know another that must be the case this one also just the brown I mean they all feel really nice and silky smooth to the touch um, this one's gonna look a bit sparkly because I still have sparkles on my finger and on my leg but uh, it's a matte and like it's you know it's a fine brown I prefer I much prefer a cool brown um, but this is fine and I'll use it you know nothing wrong with it particularly just you know not I prefer the shade of brown so I don't end up like going for it particularly much when I do have other or at least like one other brown that I like a lot more and this one um, this this one I used to use kind of as a concealer because it's quite really close to my skin tone um, and also it's like broken kind of a few times but like um, not like I mean just like not like in a way that it can't be used anymore just in a way that it's like very powdery um, but like yeah this one I used to sort of use as like a concealer um, just like to cover up redness and stuff so it is it is like much pinker than my skin tone but like I don't know it's just it, it just I don't wear eyeshadow that subtle I see no reason to wear eyeshadow that subtle it's just and like on my leg it kind of stands out but I feel like on my eyes it stands out even less than it does on my leg it's even more subtle and it's like I don't know, I have no desire. I have no desire to wear eyeshadow that subtle. Um, and like, maybe I will just use it up. Maybe I'll use it as like a blush. I mean, I don't know, I don't know that on my face. I think my face is, I mean, my face is a slightly different color than my leg. So I don't know if it would work that, like, as that on my face. I will have to like try it on my face again. I haven't really used it at all. And like the whole time that I've been doing my makeup regularly so I don't really I don't really know how I how I particularly would use it up but like I'm gonna use it up and like you know it works it's fine it's just not a color that I particularly have much use for um this one though I mean, it's also not like, oh Jesus, it's also not like an ideal color. I don't know why this one's so powdery and crummy. Um, but this one's like a much more fun color. Um, it's not like, again, it's not really like a favorite, a go-to, but like, it's fun. I mean, I would, this one I would definitely use in my cheeks if I didn't want it on my eyes, but I do also quite want it on my eyes. Um, this one must have broken at some point too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know that I don't want it. I mean, I do want it on my eyes. It's just, I, in that palette that I showed that I used, that, that one had purples and I was using those up as a priority. So I haven't really used this much but i do think it's really nice and i will use it and i do like it even if it's not like ideal for what i would want um then this is also a purple it's like a deep plummy purple which i also really appreciate it's like it's like it's this was like really nice like again, this one I also just like mostly haven't used for a reason of there were other purples that I wanted to use at first because because I like them less. Um, but I do actually quite love this one. 
it's really nice. I I mean, obviously, we don't buy it again, and um, I'm and I'm not really looking for like a dupe of this or anything, but I I do think it's really nice. And I need to like rotate these so that my mats don't get bucky. Um. I mean, these are all from the Aran calendar, obviously. This one's like a silver, or like, I don't know, it's like a dark silver. I don't know what you call that. I mean, it's a sparkly gray, it's a sparkly dark gray. I don't know if that's a dark silver or, or what that is. Um, the sparkles, I don't know, it's, it's not nearly as sparkly as I would want them to be. Like, I don't, I don't like gray, and I do like silver. So, if you're gonna do a gray with sparkles, I want it to be really sparkly, because like this, to me, this is, like, I mean, it is sparkly, it's just, I would want it to be a lot more high impact, I would want it to be like this one, um, and you can't really tell how sparkly it is on camera, I mean, like that, I think you can kind of tell, it's just, it's just much more like, I don't know, ethereal kind of, I guess, and like, I mean, these ones even, like, it's just, I know, this one's just so lacking in sparkle. Like, it is sparkle, and I do appreciate that. I just wish it was a lot more sparkly. Um, and then this is one that I bought myself. Again, when I needed yellow in my collection a few years back. Uh, it's, it's also not great. It's also not great at all. It's just... You know, that's... You know, you look at that, wow, it's a great bright yellow. It's a great color. But then... Oh gosh, okay, <laughs> you think the same finger hasn't been a problem yet, but going from grey to grey to yellow kind of is problematic, it turns out. Um, I mean, when I, like, it, if I wanted a sheer yellow, it would work great, right? Like, it's, if I, were, if I was going for a sheer yellow... This would be fine, but I'm not right. Like I bought this because I wanted this sort of like. Isn't it interesting how much like greener it is in my skin? I mean, it's the olive undertone. It's not really surprising, um, but yeah, so much like. I mean, on camera it doesn't show as much. I feel like, but it's a lot more golden orangey in the pan. A lot more bright, just straight yellow on my skin. Um, but like, yeah, if I like really build it up a lot, it kind of looks bright yellow. But I really have to really work for it, and I kind of loathe that. I'm not a fan. Um, and like, you can see, that was my only yellow. I should I have not used it particularly much. So, yeah, not great. I mean, I will use it up, but not happy with it. And then I have the Body Shop eyeshadows. I have them as singles, and these really are ones that, like, um, my other life died now. And these really are ones that, like, you're meant to, like, get a compact for and put them in there. But, like, I got, again, I got them at, like, 12, and I just simply didn't do that. And, like, someday... I will get a compact for single eyeshadows because, I mean, ideally, I would just have single eyeshadows. I don't really like buying palettes because I want to be able to pick whatever colors I want and rebuy them when I run out of the one color. Um, but um, I haven't done that yet. I am not particularly motivated to do it for these eyeshadows because, like, my goal for these eyeshadows very much is to, like, this is so silky smooth. This one also like has fallen to the floor and cracked, and I just put it back in there, and like it works. It's very peachy. I this one I feel like I did buy myself, and I don't really know why. I mean, it might have might have come in the other color, but I don't feel like it did. I don't know. Maybe it did, but it's so peachy, and I don't like I don't like peach. I have like multiple peach things, and I just. I just don't care for peach at all. I have, I mean, maybe not at all. I do have some appreciation for it, but it just, it's just not at all what I would want ideally. 
I mean, this pink kind of, I mean, you can barely see it, but like, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of get into it. This one, I kind of kind of get into it. It's kind of, even with the subtlety, it's like, you know, I can get into it. But like this bright, not bright, but like this like, not subtle peach, like darker peach. I, I don't know. There's, it just, I will use it up. But, like, I would never buy a color like this now, and I don't know what I did back then, if that's what I did. And uh, then I have this light gray, which also, like, I, I mean, I think I just got it because, like, the, this dark gray, basically black, was not available. So I just went for, like, the most, I mean, this was just, like, I think this was just, like, the most similar thing I could get to black. So that's what I got. But it's not very similar at all, as a... Uh, and, like, I have found a use for it. I did use it, like, yesterday in a way that was, like, really nice, like, in combination with the other one. So, like, it, I do have a use for it. It's just, on its own, I really don't care for it at all. Like, I can use it and I will use it, but, like, I just, I don't like gray. Like, in general, gray is just, like, not a color I'm into, so it's, like, you know, what do I do with that? Uh, and yeah, then there's this, like, basically black one. That's, this one has kind of a bit of hard pen, too. Yeah, I never noticed before. It comes on a brush, fine. Like, touching it now, I can definitely feel that it's, like, less silky smooth than, like, everything else. Um, interesting. Um, this one, like, this one also, like, on the skin, it's not as dark as it is in the pan, which I find very disappointing. And I also have to, like, build it up quite a lot. I feel like this one works better with a brush than it does with a finger, though. Um, but yeah, wow, there's really some, like, hard pan here that, like, I never at all noticed before. Hmm. And this one's, like, easier to build with a brush. Sometimes even kind of too easy to be honest. Um, I mean, it, maybe not. I don't know. Something about the formula is I don't love. I don't. There's something about the formula that I don't love. Um, I mean, that's made like the undergrade basically fucking disappear beneath it. Um, like I do like this one, you know, for a smoky eye, which is something that I'm quite keen on doing. So, like, I don't know if it's a smoky eye. I don't really do it like it's traditionally done. I just, I don't know, kind of. I, I don't know, I just get kind of freaky with that. That's what it comes down to. Um, but I do like that one for when I want a dark eye, which I often do. Um, and then I just have one more palette to go, which is... Um, kind of crazy. I mean, I, I have been here a while. Um, but like, I don't know. I always feel like I have so much stuff. And like, I do. I have a lot more than I would want of many things. Um, especially of the things that like are not ideal for me. But like, I don't know. It's not really all that insane an amount um all right i have six eyeshadows in here i have this one which is basically just i don't know and it's just, it, i mean it's a cream right it's not like but like it's it's not far off of the skin on some of my body it's kind of literally the same as the skin on some of my body and like not necessarily um, all of my face, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's also just, like, very subtle on me, so I don't use it much. Where do I have swatching space left? Oh, gosh. Um, the other side of my leg, I guess. Oh, what a, what a not nice angle, though. Um, I wanna, I don't know, I wanna find, like, a good place to do it. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna do it on this end call because there's like kind of room left. Like, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. It's just very subtle on me. So I just, this one I also just kind of don't use. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it is kind of lighter and kind of shiny. So I could use this as a very subtle highlight, but like, I'm not interested in like subtle highlighter either. Um, so it's like, what am I even, what am I even meant to do? But like, I will use it up. I will probably use this one as a subtle highlighter, like a inner corner highlight or whatever, you know, like that's fine. This one's, this one's kind of in a similar boat, but the problem with this one is that it's just like, not really lighter than my skin as much. Um, and like, I mean, it is a highlighter on me, right? Like, it is something that I can and will use as a highlighter. But like, it's not quite as bright as I would want the highlighter to be. So like, I we don't really use it on like my cupid's bow for example where i want the highlighter to like really be lighter than than the rest of me um but like you know it's fine it works i can use it like that um then there's this brown this brown i love this brown this brown is so fucking pretty on me like i'm obsessed with this brown um swatches here kind of a lot more pinkish um like on my finger you can see it's kind of gray and on my leg it's kind of like pink and on my eyes it's like somewhere in between those um so but i mean you know, I still like the color in, like, any of these incarnations. I, I just, I think it's, I think it's a really nice color. When I put it all over my eyes, it looks awesome. It's great. I like it a lot. Um, this orange, practically, practically unused. Um, I also had another orange that I wanted to use at first, and I did. So that's one of the things that is practically unused. It's like, I didn't like actually like dislike this color that much, though I generally don't wear particularly much orange. Um, but like, it's a, this is like a nice orange, right? This is like the kind of orange that I would wear. So, and like, I will wear it kind of with a little plus there where it's darker, but. Yeah, this is like, it's a good orange for me. I just don't wear orange in general that much. But like, yeah, this is nice. I do like it and I will wear it. And maybe I will grow to like it more as I actually wear it. Then I have these two greens. This one you can see is practically used up almost. Um because it's my like only light green um, and light green is a color that I go for kind of a lot um, and like I don't know I mean I don't really I mean I go for green in general in my clothes a lot I don't know that I don't particularly wear many light greens like I mean the dark green is like dark green um, that's also my only dark green and I've also used it quite a lot you can't particularly well on camera but like i think you can see that there's like a big difference there like, this one i've used a lot more um because it's my only i mean it's my only makeup item in general that's like this bright green like i have that one liner and that one lipstick and they're like a dark green and it's my only makeup product at all that's like a light green um so this one's really quite quite used and i do like it i do like it a lot um 
Honestly, these days I feel like I maybe prefer a dark green um, on my eyes, especially. But, like, I do like this, and I will wear it happily, and I will enjoy it. I do think it's really nice. And then, yeah, there, there's the dark green, and then I'm, and that's all. Um, another reason why I haven't, like, bought a proper makeup compact magnetic one for, like, eyeshadows and stuff is because, like, this one, this is, like, metal. And, like, this part in it is, like, very wiggly. So I feel like when I use this up, I can take that out and, like, use this. At least until I get like a proper single eyeshadow collection, which wouldn't be that big. I do think it would be slightly too big to put in here. Um, so, yeah, and this is also kind of a bit of bit bit of a blue green for me. I prefer definitely prefer a warmer green, which is also definitely the reason why I use the light green more. Um, and yeah, that's all my makeup. Um, uh, I do think this video was kind of a lot longer and less good than it could have been. But I'm not gonna film it all again, I'm not gonna attempt to make it shorter because, well, I don't wanna do all that again. So, um, yeah. I hope someone got something out of this, at least. And if not, then that's fine also, because I will have all this information accessible for myself in the future, which is what the real point of this is mostly. I'm mostly doing it for me. But if someone else got something from it, then, you know, God. So, yeah. That was that. Uh, I want to see if you can, like... Maybe it doesn't really stain purple if it's not on my lips. Maybe, maybe it just stains purple because it's on my lips and my lips are pretty pink. Um, but, like, I wonder if you can see that it's... Oh, on my legs! Kind of stains green. Isn't that weird? I mean, it's because of my olive undertone. Um, but it's not what I expected. I didn't expect it to be so green. Kind of like yeah, like when when you put it on, it kind of stains in a way that really really brings forward the like undertone of whatever was of whatever you put it on top of. That's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, okay, that's for real all. Um bye.